Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for my first ever ant video. Um, so I've had a few um, colonies of Laceus niger before and unfortunately those colonies have all failed. So here I am with a brand new colony. Um, so I have a queen. Um, I wasn't too sure how many workers I had when I took this video. It's very hard to count them. Um, but I've since managed to count a total of 20 workers. Um, I've also know that there are um, a few eggs and a couple of larvae in there. It's very hard to count because they have them hidden um, right in the cotton wool um, bung. Um, so it's really hard to see um, how many there are. But I know there are some because I've seen the ants carrying them around. So you can see they've come in the test tube. Um, it's about half full of water. Um, and um, they seem fairly happy in there. Um, it's a bit of footage for you here, just to just to show them happy and healthy and doing what I would expect them to be doing, really. I think. Um, so the test tube is okay. Um, I'm not ecstatic with it. It's a little bit scratched up, and um, you can see the cotton is getting a little bit dirty already. Um, so I think during the setup of the outworld and stuff, which is what I'm going to be showing you, I think I'm going to add an extra clean test tube in there, just so that um, just so that they have the option to go to a clean one if they want to. I'm not going to try and force them into it, um, but if they want to, then it means that they will have the option. Um, yeah. But anyway, so as you can see, the ants are happy, they're healthy, um, they're doing all the things that they should be doing. Um, they don't look stressed, they're not running around like crazed creatures or anything. So I'm quite pleased with them all in all. So we'll move on then, I think, to the setting up that outworld. So I'm going to use... Um, this is a tub that I bought from Ant Kit a little while ago from for one of my older um, colonies. Um, it's got a vented lid, it's easy to use. Um, I'm trying to show you here that it has PTFE applied um, around the top. Um, it originally came with PTFE pre-applied, pre but since it's been sat in a cupboard for a little while and what have you, I thought I've, I've pre-applied a fresh layer of PTFE on there. Um, so this is my water feeder, um, I'm going to use some bottled water um, just to be on the safe side um, to give them a nice fresh water source. Obviously they have their test tube water but it's been in there for a little while now, I'm guessing for 2 out of 20 workers. Um, so a nice fresh supply of water, a little tap just to get the water down into the micro channels of that feeder. Um, it's a nice safe way to make sure that they have water, they can't drown in it or anything silly like that. Um, so yes, a fresh water source. Next here I'm going to give them a sugar source. I would normally just use um, honey water. Um, it tends to mould a lot less than using sugar water, so I like to use honey water. But I was having a banana for breakfast that day anyway, so I figured, heck, that might, that'll be... A nice little sugar sauce for them and I'm guessing it will also be the first time that they've ever left their test tubes so it'll be a nice something nice for them to sink their not their teeth them little um clawy things that they have I'm not quite sure what they're called but it is something for them to sink their teeth into and get a good chew on I thought um so there's the banana it goes on a little um plate just to keep the outworld clean I don't want muck all in there Next, I'm going to provide them with a protein source. So these are brown crickets that I bought from Pets at Home. I bought a little tub of them um, and then I've put the whole tub in the freezer to kill them and to, any, to get rid of any nasties that might have been on them. They should be safe because of them coming from Pets at Home and not from the wild, but best to be safe than sorry. So I've taken out a, quite a small one. Um, and then you're going to get to see me be an absolute wimp and 
try and pull off some legs off this um, cricket so that the ants can get into the nice fleshy bits. Um, so I actually saw after this, after they'd been sat on the side for a little while, that they had pulled one of the legs that I pulled off right into the nest, um, right into the test tube. Um, it's been moved around the test tube a little bit. It's been, um, I was able to see where the brood were and they they put it over where the brood were so that the larvae could um, feed. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. They obviously quite like the cricket. Um, I added it frozen um, because they defrost so quickly that by the time the ants get to it, it's perfect anyway. So here I am just setting up the um, new test tube that I said that I was going to do. Again, I'm using bottled water just to be on the safe side because I don't want anything untoward to happen to this colony. Um, I'm going to use a half of a cotton wool ball to um, block the water in so that um, it can create the humidity in the in there that the ants like for their nest um, it can give them a water source um, and it's completely safe for them so you want to push that cotton wool down just so that it's damp on the top you don't want it soaking wet on the top because otherwise the um, it would be too wet for the ants they might drown themselves or something silly so here is my test tube already um, what I was going to do was wrap it in um, silver foil, some um, yeah, just some kitchen foil. But I figured that actually, if I did that, it would be very difficult to um, unwrap them without disturbing the ants too much. So I folded it, folded the um, folded the foil instead, um, so I can just place it over the top of that test tube. And that makes it nice and easy to um, take the foil on and off to be able to get a good view if they do ever in, um, decide to move into that test tube. I'm not sure that they will, um, but it's there just in case. Um, and then the other thing that need the last thing that I need to do is to add the ants, um, which you'll see in a second. But I've actually, um, since this video was made, I have made a couple of modifications to this setup. Um, so you can see here that I'm adding the ants um, test tube and the new test tube onto the same side as the tub. What I've actually done in the end is put them on opposite sides um, and secured them in place with some blue tack to stop them rolling around um, when I move the tub. And I've also got the the um all the food sources and the water source in the middle um of the two test tubes down the center of the tub um and I've added a sugar source so I've used honey water um in another water feeder um you'll see a video you'll see a picture of this in a second um so that should mean that they have everything they need um, I'd imagine that they'll be in this setup for quite a few months now I shouldn't have any reason to have to change um, their setup so thank you very much for um, watching and I hope that you found this useful